Time for the evening rush. The state is mourning the loss of former New Mexico Congressman Manuel Lujan. Lujan has died at the age of 90. He served 10 terms in Congress from 1969 to 1985. He also served as the U.S. Interior Secretary under George H.W. Bush from 1989 through 1993. Flags will be flown at half staff. Looking ahead to Monday when the community will gather to honor a mailman shot and killed earlier this week. The family will hold a memorial service for Jose Pepe Hernandez on Monday, and military funeral honors will be held at the Santa Fe National Cemetery. This comes as memorials grow for Hernandez. You can find details and always on KRQE.com. Any showers we see throughout the night tonight will quickly dissipate tomorrow. And the best shot for showers during the day on Saturday will be across the northern mountains as we wring out a little bit more moisture with a little weather disturbance, but it will be more isolated showers than anything else. APS is trying to figure out how it will cover more than a hundred grand for unpaid cafeteria meals. By law, the district feeds anyone who asks for a meal. APS says a lot of the debt is from lower income families that don't fill out the free lunch applications. The feds cover the cost for families who qualify. A few organizations have made donations to help the district cover the cost. You're looking at video of a traffic stop of Keith Romero, who's facing aggravated DWI charges. Police say Officer Aaron Streeter spotted his car turning around outside a DWI checkpoint. She plowed into him to keep him from driving the wrong way into traffic. That officer was okay. Police say Romero blew twice the legal limit. The leader of a militia accused of illegally detaining migrants is now looking ahead to his Monday court appearance after being arraigned on federal charges. Today, a grand jury charged Larry Hopkins with being a felon in possession of firearms and ammunition. If convicted, Hopkins faces 10 years. We're learning 41% of New Mexico voters approve of the job Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham is doing. That is according to a poll conducted by the market research firm Morning Consult. Those numbers are relatively low compared to other governors. City of Las Cruces today taking in asylum seekers. They say 112 migrants were dropped off and volunteers are still needed. The city says they are posting on social media ways to volunteer. Now to Colorado where a trucker could be facing vehicular homicide charges for a deadly and fiery crash. As you see, Colorado authorities say the driver of that truck, Rogel Aguilera Medeiros, is suspected of plowing into 24 cars and four semis on a crowded section of Interstate 70 near Denver. The zoo's plans for more parking are being put on hold. Plans for the biopark lists a two to three story parking structure to be built next to the zoo entrance. That was originally planned for last year. Now the city says the Asia exhibit and installing solar panels are now topping the list of priorities. Well, our Metro Threat Index for Saturday is pretty low, given the weather is going to be pretty nice. Now we're going to see the possibility of some breezy conditions at times, but for the most part, partly cloudy skies with any showers staying to the north. This month, Presbyterian Hospital is raising awareness for organ donation. April is National Donate Life Month, and today the hospital recognized donors. One Albuquerque man who received a new kidney last year says the donation completely turned his life around. Presbyterian says they've performed 26 kidney transplants this year. The Gathering of Nations will continue through the weekend. The 36th annual gathering celebrated the grand entry this afternoon. Indigenous people from all over come together for four days of fellowship and to celebrate their traditions. This is the largest powwow in North America. The city of Albuquerque is putting a plan in place to replace old trees with new ones. The city says it's needed because trees in most city parks are reaching their lifespan, meaning they be can become a hazard. Each tree replaced will be replaced with two to three new ones. This weekend, you can compete in the 2019 City Nature Challenge. Albuquerque is competing against other cities all around the world. You go to a website to log observations of different animal species and trees. Then there are also events to help you take part, like a nature walk. These designs for New Mexico State Ornament are competing for the number one spot. You can see the top five finalists on your screen right now. All of them showcase this year's theme. New Mexico Films, The Great American West. They show off the state's history of film production and ranch culture. The winner is announced in September. On your morning commute on Monday, you will notice a new loop. That loop is for eastbound drivers on the I-25 Rio Bravo interchange. 
That loop leads drivers to northbound I-25. A warning for pet owners, make sure your animals have their rabies vaccination. The Department of Health says five skunks in eastern New Mexico tested positive for rabies. Pet owners also encouraged to keep their pets on a leash to avoid contact with wild animals. You have two more weekends to ski at Purgatory Resort. For the first time in its history, that resort will be open in May. It's been a big year for Purgatory. They picked up nearly 30 feet of snow this winter. The season ends a week from Saturday. And the best video of the day shows what your money can go toward. New video from the Biopark shows Ricardo, the three-banded armadillo, working out on this running wheel, helping him stay active and healthy. The Biopark Society says donations paid for this wheel. And he looks fit. <laughs> nice job.